water, folks, but fermented banana water. There is a huge, huge difference. Let's take a look. Good morning, good morning, beautiful people. What a gorgeous, gorgeous morning here in Gander, Newfoundland and Labrador today. And it's only, only 8 a.m. Mr. Gary is here in a t-shirt, just look at that. And I'm donning a brand new hat. Las Vegas, it says on this one. If any of you on our YouTube channel who watches our videos got deep pockets and want to send Mr. Gary and Mrs. Betty to Las Vegas, we've never been there. We have never been to Las Vegas, Nevada. Love to go, love to go, but it costs us a lot of money to go there, eh? And I'm not going to spend my money, my hard-earned money, to go to Las Vegas to go watching some shows or uh, or to go gambling. Anyway, let me get on with what I'm supposed to do today, which is take my garbage out. Uh, we're going to do that, but today, folks, is two weeks since we made some banana water. The bananas, those old rotten bananas that I showed you a couple of weeks ago, they've been sitting into a bucket, a pail of water now for two weeks. They've been fermenting and rotting and turning and, and doing all kinds of lovely things in that water to make some natural organic fertilizer for our greenhouse. And I'm going to show you that in this video. But before we get to that, we got to, as I said, do my usual, usual fruity chore, which is to take our garbage out to the curb. Let's take a look at this week's garbage and see what we have. So here's our two large garbage containers, and I wonder how much garbage the Leet family has this week. Okay, let's take a look. This one. Oh my goodness. Not very much garbage in that one at all. Just a couple of eggs way down in the bottom there. Look at that. And this one, what's in this one? Well, this one is full of recyclables. I love it when our garbage container is full of recyclables because it means all this stuff gets recycled. It doesn't go to the landfill. And that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Besides our garbage containers, we have a couple of cardboard boxes as well, and they will get recycled. All good, all good. Let's take these garbage containers out to the curb and let's talk about the weather today as we do so. Okay, so let's take this one now, Mr. Gary, and take this one out to the curb. Here we go, here we go. Okay, it is currently 13 degrees Celsius here in Gander, and that's the same as 55 degrees Fahrenheit. It's supposed to get up to 22 degrees Celsius today, and that's gonna be quite warm for this time of year. And 22 degrees Celsius is the same as 71 degrees, 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's take the rest of the garbage out to the curb, shall we? And that's our garbage, folks, for this week. Two containers here, one mostly full of recyclables, and that's a good thing, and the other one almost empty with garbage, and a couple of pieces of cardboard. Our garbage this week here at the Lead Household. Mr. Gary here, folks, sitting inside our uh, backyard greenhouse, getting ready to reveal and unveil what has been brewing in this large five gallon yellow pail here in front of me. Everything is here that I need to get the contents out of that bucket. We have a large green watering can right here. It's gonna put it aside for now, there it is. We have a couple of colanders because we do have to sift uh, sift the contents in the bucket. We have a large watering can right here, watering spray bottle. Okay, we're gonna use that very, very soon. I have a little pail here and a stir stick and I have a large measuring jug because we want to look at uh, the contents very, very soon. So without any further ado, let's take the cover off this. Now, it's been sitting here, as I said, brewing away, brewing away underneath this garage sign, actually. And here it is. It doesn't look very pretty. It doesn't look very pretty indeed, but it has been brewing. Just look at that. And it, smell, it smells sort of like an alcohol, like a beer kind of thing. It does. It does indeed. But... But this stuff is a game changer for plants, especially plants in your greenhouse, like, like the tomatoes that we have growing here. Okay, so we're going to so, sift through this. Use my sifters right here. Here's one of my sifters. So I'm gonna use this one to get the large chunks out. And I'm gonna put it in that, uh, in that bucket right there. And we'll put those in our compost later. So there we go. That's the banana peel and uh, and pulp that's been sitting in this water for two weeks now okay chuck it in there mr gary 
We're going to try and get out as much as we can with the uh, with the uh, with the strainer that has the larger holes, and then we're going to use the fine. Then we're going to use the fine one. It does indeed smell like fermented alcohol, like beer or or homemade wine kind of thing. Okay, I'm going to try, like I said, get most most of the pulp out of here. And then we're going to put some of it in one of those. Uh, we're going to fill up, all right, we're going to fill up this uh, this green watering can and we're also going to fill up that sprayer bottle. Fermented bananas for your plants. Got most of it. There's probably some settled on the bottom here too. Now, I'm gonna try to use the uh, the larger one now. Get that larger one in there, Mr. Gary. And that should get a lot of the finer stuff out. Look at that. We're trying to clarify is what we're trying to do. Trying to clarify the water. Okay. All right. Now. I've gotten another large pail, and I'm going to use that one back to pour from the yellow one into the white one. Just a couple of large chunks coming up from the bottom. I'm gonna try to do this very, very gently, folks, because this stuff is indeed quite precious. idea is to clarify the water, the banana water, the fermented banana water, let me bring you over so you can see, okay, so there you go, now, I'm probably going to do it a couple of times, and that we all get out most, most of the small particles. Now, here you can see, okay. Pour it from the white one back into the yellow one again. been clarifying the fermented banana water that I have been brewing in uh, in our greenhouse for the last couple of weeks folks I've gotten all the peel and all the pulp out of the large bucket and now I'm getting ready to fill up uh, fill up my green watering can and I'm gonna fill up the spray as well once I get the green uh, green watering can filled up I'm gonna use it to uh, to feed our water uh, my sugar baby watermelons that you see in front of you there uh, are tomato plants that are growing nice and green. There's lots and lots of tomatoes hidden away in behind, in behind those leaves. They are currently green, which is understandable for our planting zone, zone 5A. And uh, hopefully with this shot of fermented banana water, it will help them grow. You'll notice that I've trimmed or pruned uh, my tomato plants from the bottom up to about two inches, two feet now. So I've trimmed them and I've pruned them, uh, like I said, for about two feet. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, 
they'll start to grow now. They, they're quite tall, actually. So let's get back at the fermented, fermented banana water. Now, I'm going to use this large measuring cup here now, and I'm gonna use that to fill up the green, to fill up the green, uh, green watering can and the small sprayer bottle. It is a bit cloudy, but most of the particles have been taken out of it. So let's fill up the, uh, the watering can. I'm not wasting to get this precious, precious brew. Mr. Gary. So now we can we now we have a spray bottle full of fermented banana water and we can we can directly spray the foliage on these plants. So let's do that. Just spray like this. Look at that. Ain't that clever? We just made our own natural organic fertilizer. Isn't that something? Now I'm going to use this green one to uh, to water the soil. I'm going to give them a good feeding, folks, because I'm sure they could use they could use this food. Now I've got enough in that bucket uh, to do a really do a couple of good feedings. And what I will also do. Uh, Miss Betty picked up some more rotten bananas at the supermarket. They were actually giving them away. They were so rotten that Miss Betty brought home a couple of bunches and she froze them in the freezer. So I'm going to go and take a couple of those and I'm going to make myself another batch of this and over the next couple of weeks we will get more banana water to feed our plants. What do you think of that? Isn't that something? Spray your plants, Mr. Gary. Spray. Those tomatoes, little baby one growing right there. Give him a shot. Okay, all right. Cucumbers, here we go. Let's feed our cucumbers. I'm interested to see now, over the next couple of days, how this turns out. All right, beautiful growing to cucumber right there. Look, you see it? It's about six or eight inches long, and there's a few more hanging them on here somewhere, okay? There's a little one growing right there. Look at that. So I'm directly watering the plants now with this spray bottle. I'm watering the foliage, the plant leaves and the flowers and all that kind of stuff, giving it a really good coating of this fermented banana water. There's another cucumber growing there. Look, give him a shot of food. <laughs> Okay, here's our corn. I wonder do our corn. It's a beautiful uh, ear of corn growing right there. Hard to see it, but he's growing, growing quite good. Okay, so let's give them a shot. And I'm, I'm gonna go around, of course, and give it a lot more, a lot more of the food from, uh, from the green planting, uh, from the green uh, planter. There's our sugar baby, look at that one. Okay, it's about the size of a golf ball. Okay, give it a good feeding there, Mr. Gary. So what do you think? Fermented banana water. Do you use it? Do you think it works? Is it worth your while to go through the, uh, the work and effort to make, to make a bucket of fermented banana water and use it to feed your plants. It is all natural, it is organic. It, in my opinion, is a great, great uh, fertilizer for the plants and, uh, and vegetables that you're going to consume. Fermented banana water, folks. 
directly water your plants or use as a spray uh, and spray the foliage of your plants. That's our video, folks. I hope you liked this one. If you did, of course, hit that like button and, of course, leave lots and lots of comments. Thanks for watching, folks, and you have, you have a blessed, blessed Friday, TGIF. Enjoy the weekend, and we'll see you in a future video. Bye for now.